Hey everyone! Welcome back to another bedtime story review. My whole family has been down with a horrible cold for the past two weeks, and it's a bummer, so I apologize for my voice. But I still wanted to share this cute little book with you today. It's called Someone Sleepy by Deborah Lee Rose, and it is so sweet. We picked it up from the library a little while ago, and Agnes has just been loving it. Listen, there's one here, right? Stardust sky and silver moon, someone sleepy, bedtime soon. Sleepy, sleepy. Oh, you're one page at a time. Here we go. Yeah. <gasps> sleepy hands and sleepy feet, sleepy neck that smells so sweet. What's she doing? Kick. She taking a bath? Yeah, kick, kick in the bath. Bath. Bubbles? Bath. Her jammas. Her cozy jams. Yes. Yep. Sleepy teeth and sleepy lips. What's she doing? Okay. <laughs> she brushing her teeth? Hey. Yeah. Bob. Sleepy toes and fingertips. What's she doing here? Is she saying her prayers? Yeah. Here, read this way. This way. Oh, look, look, look. Oh. Sleepy quilt tucked all around. Sleepy world of nighttime sail. What's that? Is that an owl? You see an owl? I don't see an owl. What is the owl doing? What does an owl say? You say hoo hoo. Sleepy mouth too tired to sleep. Sleepy kisses on your cheek. She looks so sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. Sleepy bear and bunny too. Sleepy hugs for all of you. Okay, no hugs. Where's the bear? There. Oh, that's the bunny. Is that the bunny? <laughs> What's that dog? Yeah. He looks sleepy too. Sleepy forehead. Sleepy nose. Okay. Sleepy eyes begin to close. Where's baby's eyes? Okay. Yeah, right there. Sleepy breath so soft and slow. Yeah. Yes, she's turning off the light. Sleepy night lights golden glow. Who's sleeping now? Is that the doggy? Sleepy child in sleepy bed. Dream sweet dreams, my sleepy head. Here, one more page. Sleepy pillow smooth and deep. Someone sleepy fast asleep. I don't think there's anything in this book I'm not charmed by. I love the simple rhyming poetry and repetition. I love how easy it is to slip into a low, calming voice and cadence as the story whisks your little one off to sleepiness. I love the art style. My daughter thinks the characters look like cookies, and I see where she's coming from, but I think it's super cute. I love the illustrations of the steps in a bedtime routine so we can follow along and recap the steps we ourselves have just taken and are about to take. On the side, I think this book actually helped Agnes understand what the word sleepy means. Previously, I think she thought it meant asleep, but now she's a little less defensive when I ask her if she's sleepy because I think she understands it means that she's ready to go to sleep. Because, you know, I love to nitpick these books. I could do without the last page. It's, it's weird, but the first time I read the story, I got to the second to the last page and I stopped because the poem of the story seemed to be over. But my husband pointed out that there was still one more page, and sure enough, there's an extra, like, half stanza back there that adds nothing to the story. The girl is already in bed falling asleep, but you turn the page and now she's sleepy fast asleep. Which seems like, not a lazy rhyme, but like a baffling one? I don't know. Like I say, I'm very particular with some of these things. This is just an adorable and charming story. I'm really glad I found it and shared it with my daughter. If you'd like to check it out yourself, there's a link in the description. And if you want to see more of my bedtime story reviews, there's a playlist linked there in the corner and also at the end of the video. If you like this video, there's a button for that. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my two videos a week. 
I'll see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye. Cookies. Cookies? <laughs> Do you think she looks like a cookie? That's kind of silly. Thank you.